pow, right. Uh, show that this integral gives us this answer. <laughs> what, what have you done? So, uh, we're going to do integration by parts, aren't we? Which, it, for us, do you remember this? That's u dv by dx. dx is u times v minus the integral of v du by dx. So, we need to identify the two things. Now, I, I've noticed some of you have split this up into separate parts. <coughs> so, an x squared sine x plus a 5x sine x plus a 7 sine x. And done three separate bits, two of which you need to do integration by parts. I, it's okay to do that. It gives you a lot of work. It gets big. I think it's maybe a little bit more efficient just to do it in one go. This is the bit that's going to get better when we differentiate it. So we're going to say u is x squared plus 5x plus 7. And this is the bit that isn't going to get any worse when we integrate it. So dv by dx is sine x. So differentiate that, we get 2x plus 5. Integrate that, we get, well, sine integrates to minus cos, sim card. So that is minus cos x. So now we get to put it together. It is our, our initial integral, well, I need to stop myself having to write it out again, is u times v, remember it's between the limits, so it's u times v, x squared plus 5x plus 7 times minus cos x. <coughs> between 0 and pi, minus the integral of v du by dx of minus cos x times 2x plus 5 dx between 0 and pi. How many of you have got the, the base there? <laughs> Do you like that bit? Hello, I'm base. <laughs> Right, um, it didn't it didn't with the limits, it kind of spawned a little bit. Okay, so now we've got this. Oh, oh no, we've got to do integration by parts all over again because that's not yet sorted out. So our second run through our integration by parts, uh, remember we've got to get these the right way around. U is going to be the one that gets simpler. Now cos x doesn't get any simpler, it just goes to sine x. So 2x plus 5 is going to be our u bit now. And our dv by dx is going to be the cos x that's there. I'll sort out the signs in a minute. So du by dx is 2, and v is cos integrates to sine x. So now we're ready to go again with this. We've got our integral is... Uh, I'm just going to... What have we got? I'm going to bring that minus to the front. Minus x squared plus 5x plus 7 times cos x. Now, what have we got going on here? We've got minus minus, so this whole thing was a plus. u times v, 2x plus 5 times sine x, minus the integral of v du by dx, 2 sine x dx between 0 and pi. We're almost there, aren't we? We've got minus x squared plus 5x plus 7 cos x plus 2x plus 5 sine x. And if we integrate sine, sine integrates to minus cos, so that's plus 2 cos x. between 0 and pi. I'm now ready to put the limits in and see what happens. It gives us... Right. Minus pi squared plus 5 pi plus 7 times cos of pi, and cos of pi is minus 1. Plus 2 pi plus 5 times sine of pi, and sine of pi is zero. Plus two times cos of pi, plus two times minus one. Take away, if I put zero into that, I get minus zero squared plus five zeros plus seven 
times cos of 0, which is 1, plus 2 times 0 plus 5, times sine of 0, which is 0, plus 2 cos 0. And I'm hoping that that's now all going to simplify down to what I wanted it to be. So what have I got? I have 1 pi squared minus minus pi squared. I've got plus 5 pi plus another 2 pi. Oh, that's times 0. <laughs> that's times 0. So I've got 5 pi. Did I want 5 pi? I think I did, didn't I? And what have I got number-wise? I've got a plus 7 there. I'm going to write these down, actually. I've got none there. I've got minus 2 there. I've got minus minus 7 there. I've got none there. And I've got minus 2. And I think I've got there, haven't I? Pi squared plus 5 pi, and that is 14 take away 4. And was, that was what we wanted, wasn't it? Oh, it was. That's maths.